Hi, I'm Sean Wilson. I'm a Year 6 teacher and the Key Stage 2 Maths lead at St. Joseph's. The decision to use the Singapore Maths model at St. Joseph's was a very deliberate one. Singapore Maths allows for greater development of problem-solving skills using models such as the part whole model in Key Stage 1 and the Bar model in Key Stage 2. We want to encourage and develop in all our students the ability to think critically and to question the why as well as the how and what of a problem. This is reflected in the emphasis we place on reasoning skills in all of our lessons. Retention of fluency facts is incredibly important and provides the children with a solid mathematical foundation. However, without the skills of problem solving, the children are unable to apply these skills into real life problem solving situations. That is why at St. Joseph's, we always ensure in our four part lesson, fluency and problem solving are both adequately covered. Hello, my name is James and I come from year 6S. My teacher is Mr. Woodhams. I've been here for around five years. I like having a daily fluency lesson. I get to see what I've done early on in the year and see what I may need a little work on. I get to do bar models every day to challenge myself and do things different from the main lesson focus. But the three things that we do in math always switch up so it always feels fresh. I like having the amounts in front of me in 3D as it has really helped my understanding of place value. Adding and subtracting large numbers really helps when using counters or charts. Even though working through bar models might take a little bit of time, it really helps to understand the question. And when using bar models for different questions or difficult questions, it can be a really big help in the future. Reasoning really helps because I can go through my calculations to check if I got my addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all right. And it also helps my teachers when they check it so they can go step through step if I have got it right. And also, when checking your friend's work, you can tell them if they're wrong or the right. And it actually makes us think a little bit harder. Our chosen approach embraces the Jerome Bruner model of concrete followed by pictorial followed by abstract. Our topics of work will usually start with the children using concrete resources such as cubes, counters or scales before moving on to make their own pictorial representations of problems. We find that at this point in time, the children are usually ready to take on more abstract problems. Hello everyone, my name is David Fitzgerald and I'm head of Key Stage 1 Maths here at St Joseph's. Shortly, we will be taking part in an activity based on place value and subtraction. So the first one that we do. Uh, My name is Kiyo. I liked Singapore Maths because that helped me solve problems. My name is Rerika. I am in year two. What I like about Singapore Maths is there are lots of ways to solve problems. I am Beatrice and I am from year two. I like Maths because I can use cubes and ten frames to help me. Something. The mathematical thinking behind the Singapore Maths approach here at St. Joseph involves both carefully considered questioning and also constructing a rational and logical system of problem solving and investigation. <laughs>